Handy Hudsonite here. I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in a MacBook Air, and I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step procedure for doing this. It's simple to do, it won't take you that much time, and we're going to get into it right after this. Over time, the battery in your notebook computer, in a MacBook Air particularly, like we're going to be doing today, the battery, as it charges and goes through several recharging cycles, it will gradually wear down. And you may notice that the amount of time that you can be using your computer with just your battery just diminishes with every passing year until the point where, like the case with my daughter's MacBook Air, where it can only be used for a few minutes when it's on battery power. I'm going to show you how to replace the battery. We ordered a new battery on Amazon. I'll have that link below as well as a couple other links to other batteries that you might find helpful for your MacBook Air. The procedure is very simple and it only should take you a few minutes and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it step by step. So let's get into it. Okay, here's our MacBook Air. 2012 this is mid 2012 that I'll be replacing the battery on and as you can see we have it face up and in order to do this procedure we're going to need to take the back of the device off simply turn it over and you will see multiple screws around the outside of the MacBook Air and the particular battery that I ordered did provide a tool in order to get these off, but uh, if not, you will need a very small screwdriver in order to get these screws out. This is the product that I ordered off of Amazon. Again, the link will be in the description. And we will take this off now and see what we have inside. And we are met with the battery, the replacement battery. So uh, let's take that out, put it off to the side here, and then we do have some tools that they provided very conveniently. And then uh, some other information for us. We'll set this box aside. So the tools they gave us, it looks like um, there are various sizes of, um, uh, of Torx and a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, here's a very small Torx screwdriver, uh, mid-size, and then a small Phillips-size screwdriver. And to begin with, we want to use the, what you want to use on the outside here is you'll see we're going to need the Torx. Let's see if this is the one that fits it. That's too big. So we're actually going to need the very small, the smallest Torx screwdriver. And just need to get all of these screws out. So let's go ahead and do that. And make sure you, that you set the screws aside where you can find them. This kit does not come with replacement screws of any sort. So you want to make sure that you keep them where you can find them. So let's get all these um, screws out. Okay, one thing that I did forget to do that you want to make sure that you do is you want to completely power off the unit. Before I take these last two screws out, I am going to power this off. And you simply do that by just pressing the power button for about 10 seconds until it goes off. Okay, so we've powered off the unit. Let's go ahead and take the last two screws out. Now what you wanna notice are these last two screws at the back are longer. So when you go to put them back in, please note that. Okay, now that we have all the screws out, we should simply be able to lift the back of the unit off. It's easiest to grab it here on the back along the uh, bevel of the screen. Carefully lift it off and you will see that we are met with 
the, the, the battery. So in order to get this battery out, we are going to have to disconnect uh, at this juncture here. Uh, there also are screws here, 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 and here that we will need to get out. Again, uh, we'll be using a, a Torx uh, to get these the battery out of here. So be careful when you're disconnecting the battery here. There is a little tab in order to help you disconnect it. Just pull that out. Now let's remove the battery. Again, you want to be careful of these screws. I'm going to set these screws over to the other side because we don't want to mix these up with the screws that are holding the back plate of, um, of the device. Now, note that the screws in the front are much longer than the ones here in the back. We have one in the middle. Okay, and that is a longer one as well. Let me put these here. Okay, the battery should now easily come out. So there is the uh, previous battery that was in here. Okay, now we have the replacement here that we'll be putting in. Let's set this right in. Go ahead and we'll guide this ribbon in. Get that, make sure that's fully plugged in. We'll line up the, the holes, get it situated in there, and put our screws in to hold it in place. You want to be sure not to over tighten these. Let's put the center screw in. And then with these, whoop, these screws are very small that go here on the back side. Okay, so we have the battery set in here. We have the five screws now secured down. We have the connector put back in. We are ready to put the back on. Though while you have the back of the machine off, it's a good time to make sure that you clear out the dust that's that can collect in here, especially in the fan and this area. And I've been able to, to blow out some of this, a lot of this dust. And then also on the backing plate, it can also accumulate dust. Now let's get this put back together and get all these screws set back in by just doing everything in reverse. Noting that the screws that go in these two holes are going to be the long ones, the rest are the short screws. Okay, we have all the screws secured now in the back of the laptop. So what we can do is we can see if it will turn on. Though what you need to make sure to do with this battery is you wanna charge it for 12 hours without using it. I'd suggest doing this in the evening and just charge it overnight, but they recommend doing a full charge on this, uh, the first two or three, four cycles, so that the battery can get into its, its regular cycled use. So let's see if this will turn on. Hit the power button there. See if this will come on. And looks like we do have a working MacBook Air. Thanks to this battery change, this MacBook Air has new life to it and should last for many years to come with this brand new battery. I already noticed that 
the boot up is much faster on this and so this is just a simple procedure you can do to save you a lot of money and a lot of time and obviously not having to go out and buy a whole new MacBook Air when you can just simply replace the battery when the battery is inexpensive and again the link will be in the description for the one I purchased and I'll put a couple other links to some other batteries on Amazon that you can check out otherwise this is how you replace the battery in a MacBook Air I appreciate you watching. Hopefully this has been helpful for you for replacing the battery in your MacBook Air. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, The Handy Hudsonite, for more tips, hacks, and reviews so that you can get the job done. And don't forget that notification bell so that you can get content as it goes up on my channel. And I will see you in the next video.